see that's the thing a lot of people listen a lot of people don't have a mission or a purpose about their life they don't have a literal mission or purpose that they could define their life by so they just kind of go in the wind whatever is going on that's what they're doing whenever somebody says something they go along with it whenever they hear a new idea they think that sounds cool they could make some money for it they just go with it they just go with it because they don't have an actual mission and purpose about their life so so what i encourage you to do is to literally write out your mission statement for your life for yourself for your being like what is your purpose what have you decide have you decided what your mission is if not you need to take some time to figure out what that is take some time to figure out what your actual mission is in life what is your purpose right and write out a statement like for me i speak life of my life every single day i know my mission my, my mission is to inspire to motivate to heal millions of people through my prosperity my positivity and my truths and live in the fullness of life that all god has for me like i know what my mission is that's only part of it but i know what my mission is so that way anything that comes up if something comes up that goes against what it is i'm trying to do with my life that's uh, not in alignment what it is i'm trying to do then i can easily decide whether to engage or not engage i could just not engage because it's not a part of what it is i'm trying to do i have a mission i, I have a purpose i'm on a journey like it's simple like have a mission and a purpose about yourself have a mission and a purpose about your life right like and how you do that is number two you have to have values and principles values and principles listen learning this this learning this alone values and principles has literally changed my life like i went from being broke i went from being depressed i went from people pleasing sleeping in my car trying to keep up appearances i'm telling you i'm telling you listen i'm talking to you from experience i'm talking to you from experience when you realize the value of values and principles it will literally change your life so if you don't do nothing else if you don't do anything else that i suggest make sure that you get some values and some principles literally write out the things that you value i have a list of things that i value that i look at every single day it's a list of 10 things 10 things that I look at, 10 things that I value that I sat down one day and decided these are the things that I value. I value these things above anything else, okay? The principles, the principles make sure that I stay in alignment with the things that I value. So, that, so I have a principle statement for each one of those values. Each one of those 10 values have a corresponding principle, right? So each one of those principles keep me in alignment with my values right so for example if one of your principles i'm sorry if one of your values is uh spiritual harmony then okay one of your principles that correspond to that should be meditating every day having a personal relationship with god what are the things that you're doing i meditate for at least 15 to 20 minutes every day i talk to god i pray to god for at least five ten minutes a day okay what else uh yoga i work out whatever your spiritual practice may be like you have those principles that you live by you know you're gonna do these things before the end of the day that's how i stay in spiritual harmony because that's something that i value you get it like that's how simple it is you have 10 well for me i have 10 values i have 10 things that i value above all else and for each one of those 10 things i have corresponding principles that keep me in alignment with those things and it, it changed my life like knowing that one thing alone has literally changed my life y'all i'm y'all if y'all like i said if you don't get nothing else make sure that you get that that's how you're gonna level up because you have some guidance you have some directions you have your mission statement you have your understanding of where it is you're trying to take your life you have your purpose. Now you have your values and your principles. These things are gonna keep you in alignment. This is how you get to the next level. If you go to any major business, any business that's been doing business for a period of time, five years, 10 years, or has stand the test of time, does this. They have a mission. They have a mission. They have values. They have principles. And guess where it comes from? Each one of those businesses are ran by a CEO or ran by people in charge. And each one of them have values that they value they have a purpose that they're there that they live by and guess what they have principles that keep them aligned to those values let me give you another example because i really want you to get this because this will change your life and this is an example too one of my values is uh, happy healthy fun relationships both in business and in personal relationships right so it's really simple if that's my value my principle is i don't engage with anything or anyone 
that does not make me more money, closer to God, or happier, right? So if you got people around you, like I did, I had people around me who weren't making me happier, who weren't trying to get better, weren't in evolving, weren't trying to, trying to elevate themselves or me, I had to cut them off, I had to get rid of them. I had to get rid of them, I had to uh, bow out and just you know start telling them no. Like, you wanna go out and drink? No, I don't wanna go out and drink. Do you wanna go to a strip club? No, I don't wanna go to a strip club. What I'm gonna do that for? I'm gonna give strippers my money, knowing that I don't, I don't, I'm not on my, on my game. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, I have friends that I literally have to cut out of my life because they weren't going where I was going. They didn't have the same vision that I had. They didn't have a purpose with their life. So they was just, I was just going along with them. They was just going anywhere. They was just going anywhere. So I had to cut them out of my life. And it's not that I don't love them. It's not that I don't care about them. It's not any of that. It's just they weren't going where I was going. And guess what? Not everybody is meant to go where you're going. Not everybody. That That's including family. That's friends. That's everything. Like, not everybody is meant to go where you are going. So you have to realize that and understand that. And once you get in alignment with your assignment, once you get in alignment with your purpose, once you get in alignment with who you are, it's easy to be able to dissect, okay, I got to put you in this category. Okay, you can come with me because you're about that life. Okay, uh, you can't even really even be in my life anymore because you're just too negative or you just, you know, you're just trying to bring me down. Now I see clearly now that you're really my enemy. I thought you were a friend, but you really are my enemy. And listen, it's tough. It's going to be tough. Like you're going to have to make tough decisions. You got to cut some people out your life that you love. And it may not even be forever. It might just be temporary because they might catch on. You know, they might catch on and be like, what are you doing? What are they going to see the progress that you're making? They're going to see how your life is evolving and getting better. They're going to be like, hey, well, hold up. I want to come along for this journey too. I want, I want to elevate. I want to grow too. What are you doing? And you can put them on game. But guess what? Not everybody's going to do that. Not everybody can't everybody can't go where you're going. So you're going to have to leave some people behind if you want to level up. Understand that I'm speaking from experience, y'all. Like I had to cut out a whole relationship. Listen, I was in an abusive relationship. A lot of men don't want to talk about this. A lot of men don't want to talk about how, how they can be victims in a relationship. And I don't play the victim role. I don't claim that title. But at the same time, I acknowledge the fact that she was putting her hands on me every day. I acknowledge the fact that she was emotionally manipulative. I acknowledge the fact that she was mentally manipulative. We both had the same educational level, right? We both understood, have a well understanding of psychology. And therefore, she would use things against me that would hurt, that would hurt. This was an extremely abusive relationship. And I'm saying this to understand that I'm talking to you from experience. You have to, if you don't do nothing else, make sure that you sit down, spend some time with yourself, spend some time trying to figure out what it is that you value, okay? If you value, say for example, like me, you have 10 things that you discover that you really value above all other things. Okay, what are the things that you need to do in order to make sure that you stay in alignment with those values, okay? Once you decide, once you figure out what, what those things are, once you have your principles, everything else is easy because you already know. Like if it's not aligned with that, if it's not aligned with those principles, then you don't do it. You don't engage in it. You don't do it at all. If, if, I, if, it, if it doesn't align, then I must decline, okay? I'm not gonna go do these things because it's not in alignment with my purpose. You know, if I'm gonna spend the next 30 days, the next six months, the next year leveling up, then I can't do those things no more. Maybe next year I might go to strip club, might wanna celebrate my birthday or something. Maybe next year I might wanna hang out with my friends. But right now, now it's not the time. Our visions don't align. I gotta level up. I gotta align myself with people on my same level. People who are doing what I'm doing. People who are doing what I wanna do. Or people who are trying to get better and better each day. I need to go to network marketing e events. I need to go to seminars and, and, and summits. I need to get better every day. There's lots of things I don't know. Listen, the things that you don't know is what's holding you back in life. You think you know everything, but I'm telling you, you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't be where you are, okay? So you have to be able to put yourself in position to be able to get more. And right now, the reason why you're broke, the reason why you're depressed, the reason why whatever challenges that you're facing is because you lack information because you're missing something. And the reason why you're missing something is because you have not yet invested in figuring out what that is. And you just need to figure it out. And the way you figure it out is having an idea of where you're going, okay? 
Number one, have the mission. Number two, values and principles. And cut everything else out. If it's not in alignment with your assignment, if it's not in alignment, you must decline. If it's not in alignment with your, your mission and your purpose, you must decline. If it's not in alignment, don't do it. It's simple. It's, it, it's not robotic. You just have to have some discipline about your life. You can't just be blowing in the wind. You have to have a mission. You have to be going after something. You have to be trying to align with something. You can't just be sitting back, going with the flow. And that's a lot of people. A lot of people want to do something just because something else, just because something somebody else said. Like, what is it that you want to do? What is it that you value? Okay. And do that. Number three, you have to just start. You have to just start whatever purpose is on your heart, whatever it is that you feel like you want to do, whatever it is you feel like that you need to do, whatever it is that keeps calling you, whatever it is you keep thinking about, whether it's trucking, whether it's starting a YouTube channel, whether it's um, getting a new job or quitting your job or, 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 or whatever it may be. I don't know what your situation might be or what it is that's on your heart. Only you know that. Only you have that vision. God placed that vision on your heart. So you have to just start doing it. Don't worry about what nobody else says or think. Don't worry about what nobody else is doing. Don't worry about it if it's already been done. Don't worry about it. Just start. Just start. As long as it's something that you want to do, just start it. Everything else will fall into place, especially once you already have the principles lined up. Everything else will fall into play. So you have to just start. That's number three. Listen, again, I'm talking from experience. I'm talking from experience. A lot of the stuff that I know, a lot of stuff that I know, a lot of stuff that I could have done and do, I've been knowing about it since 2012. I've been knowing about it. I've been practicing. I've been doing it since 2012. But I was too afraid of what people might think. I was too afraid of, you know, I had this personality, this persona that I was putting up. I had this this idea of what people wanted me to be, what I want, what people wanted me to look like, how and the things that people wanted me to do. You know, I was in graduate school. I had to maintain a certain caliber of, of, of friends or talk a certain way, I had to dress a certain way, I had to act a certain way, I had to do things a certain way all the time. But I've been knowing about most of the stuff that I know about that I do now. I've been knowing about it since 2012. And guess what? I've been seeing other people excel at it that I'm better than, that I know that I'm better than, that I know that I could do a better job at. That I know that if I would have just started back in 2012, I'll be way further along than they are. But guess what? I was trying to keep that information to myself. I was trying to keep that information and knowledge that would benefit other people to myself, thinking that this is occult knowledge, right? This is this is this is high level information that people just not gonna understand. People not gonna get it. So I'm not gonna put myself out there and look crazy because people are not gonna understand what it is I'm talking about. But I've been knowing about this stuff, and guess what? There's so many people out there teaching it now that. I will be way further along than them that I will be teaching them that if I would have just started back in 2012, I would be so much further along in life. But no, what did I do? I stuck to uh, this blueprint that somebody else gave me that, you know, the idea was implanted by somebody else. Go to school, get a good education, get a good job and live broke until you die. Like, come on now. Again, just start whatever it is that you want to do whatever is placed on your heart i don't know what that is for you but it could you know it don't have to be all at once i'm not telling you to quit your job i'm not telling you to just up and 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 and, and completely change your life overnight but what i am telling you is to just start if it's just a side hustle just start it if it's just something you do every now and then just start it but start it and like actually start it like don't don't play around with it like really do the due diligence and get it popping because you never know how that one thing could change your life. Think about this. Think, Think about, about how many lives would change if you just started doing your thing. Like how many people will come behind you and be better because of you if you just start doing your thing. Think about how many things that you've done that somebody else has done or somebody else showed you the way that had they not showed you the way, where would you be without them? So just start. Number four, you have to figure out, listen, I'm not telling you to get a routine. I'm not a person, I hated routines for a really long time, but I do understand the importance of a routine. And even now, the way my life is up, I have a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? I have a business to run. Uh, I drive trucks. My schedule is never the same. I never know what my schedule is going to look like because of the fact that I'm actually in the driver's seat of one of my trucks right now. So, all right, so what am I saying? I'm not saying that you have to have a strict routine. I'm not saying that you have to be militant and get up at 4.30 in the morning every morning. Uh, that's not realistic, okay? I don't know 
Maybe for some people you can do it, no problem. But listen, you need to get up earlier than everybody else for sure. You need to be up before everybody else is up because at that point in time, you should be trying to figure out when can you meditate? When can you pray? Okay. When can you work out? Like these are things that you must do, especially if you're a man listening to this, you got to work out, bro. Like you have to get it in. Like it's just, you have to. Like not only is it for your physical well-being, but also it's for your physical uh, state of mind. Like you have to be strong. You have to be able to work out. You have to be able to push through pain. You have to be able to push through adversity. You have to be able to do these things physically and mentally, but working out is essential. But listen, you also need to make time, especially if you're a man, you need to hear me because I'm telling you this will change your life. You need to be able to journal. You need to make sure that you have time to journal and, and, and write out your thoughts. Listen, I recommend that you get my workbook journal because not only does it teach you how to think through things and not only do you write down the things that you want not only do you write down your thoughts but it it helps you through the entire process it shows you exactly what it is you need to do and it explains why you need to do what it is you need to do because that's the thing you know people just tell me journal write things down you know have a diary all this stuff when i was growing up when i was a kid but i ended up listening because for one they had a stereotype on it but number two why why would I do this? How does this benefit? And that's what I talk about in a workbook. It shows you exactly why you need to do these things, how to do it, when to do it, and how long to do it, right? So I encourage you to check out my workbook. You can find it on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. But listen, like I was saying, you don't have to have a strict routine, but you have to pray. You have to meditate. Okay, you have to work out. Ladies, I don't, it don't matter if it's yoga, men, if you do yoga or whatever it is, Pilates, like you have to get into a routine of working out and it's because it's absolutely critical and essential to you leveling up. Like the reason why you're not where you wanna be is because you don't have these things going, right? Energy and motion, that's emotion. Emotions are this. Emotion is energy in motion. If you're not, if you're stagnant, if you're stuck, you need to go outside and take a walk. You need to go work out. You need to go take a run. You need to, that's energy and motion. That's why you feel depressed because you're not doing enough. You're not moving around enough. You're not active enough. You're not progressing enough. That's why you're depressed. You don't have no purpose because you don't have no direction. You're not even waking up every day working out. You have no discipline. How are other things, how are things gonna come into your life if it just falls away at any given moment because you don't have the physical strength or the mobility to, 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 to work through adversity? Same. Number five. You have to hold yourself accountable. You have to hold yourself accountable. Like you owe yourself a new life. You owe yourself a new you. You owe yourself a new girlfriend. You owe yourself a new boyfriend. You owe yourself new goals. You owe yourself new friends, new environments. Like you have to hold yourself accountable. Like you owe it to yourself. Like. That's it. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself because you've been fucking up for the last five years, the last 10 years. You keep living the same life year after year after year after year. It's because you keep on doing the same shit every day. Like you owe it to yourself to snap out of it. You owe it to yourself to wake up. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your family. You owe it to you. You owe it to your future you. You owe it to your creator to make the most out of your life, okay? You owe it to yourself, period. There's no other way to talk about it other than to say that, yes, you owe it to yourself. You owe it to your creator to be the best version of yourself that you could possibly be. And you need to be, and you need to decide that literally everything that you want in life is yours and that you're not gonna stop until you, you're not gonna stop growing until you get it. You have to keep going and keep growing. Everything that you want in life, you deserve. You just have to grow until you get it. Decide that you're not gonna stop growing until you get everything out of life that you deserve, that you desire, period. Speak life over your life. Speak life every single day over your life. So invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can make a small investment. Like I said, you can go on Amazon, and get my workbook journal link in the description below you can get a coach or a mentor or you can invest in some sort of uh accountability group but you have to hold yourself accountable you have to invest in yourself listen that's another thing too a lot of y'all a lot of people are not where they want to be because they don't invest in themselves they don't read books 
okay? They don't go to seminars. They don't advance in any way and wonder why every year to keep on living the same life. What have you done to invest in a better life? What have you done to invest in yourself to be a better version of you that's gonna attract a better life? What have you done? What have you invested in? You don't even wanna buy a $25 book off of Amazon because you feel like whatever it is that you feel, like, I don't, I don't know. I invest in myself, so I don't know what that's like anymore. You don't want to invest in $10, $15 audio books that's going to better you. You want to get everything for free. You want to find all the free resources and wonder why your life is cheap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to invest in yourself. Listen, I challenge you to a 30-day challenge. You ain't got to tell nobody about this challenge, but just decide that tomorrow when you wake up, today is the day that I wake up, that I woke up different. Today is the day that I'm a new person. Today is the day I decide. Listen, once you decide, y'all, listen, that decision is crucial. Once you make a decision to have, be, and do whatever you want to do, it's so powerful. It's life changing. And that's with anything. You have to be, you have to be quick to make decisions and slow to change your mind. A lot of people quick to change their mind. It doesn't matter. They, they change it quick. But listen, you have to be quick to make decisions. Once you, boom, yes, I want that. Okay. It might be you know, something that is going to be a little bit later on down the line, you know, it might be like, say, for example, it might be a $500,000 house, a million dollar house. But once you decide that you're going to get that million dollar house, that's it. Now it's a question of, okay, what do I need to do? Who do I need to become to get that million dollar house? Who do I need to become to attract the deals that's going to allow me to be able to pay for that million dollar house? Who do I need to become that's going to attract more opportunities that's going to allow me to get that a uh, million dollar house just for an example now i'm saying in anything in life all things in life can be reverse engineered okay if you know that you want a million dollar house you need to make you need to say for example get a million dollars reverse engineer it how many sales of my product do i need to sell each day in order to get to a million dollars by the next year and once you do the math on these things some of these things are really not that hard to do some of these things are really not that hard to do. A lot of times you can get to your goals just by, for example, selling three products a day. You mean to tell me you can't find three people to sell something to that's gonna allow you to get to your goal? Listen, listen, so I want everybody to level up. I want everybody to level up. I want everybody to have more love, more happiness, more joy, more prosperity, more success, more, more of life and all that God has for you. Okay, that's, again, that's one of my affirmations. I will live the fullness of life and all God has for me. Okay, and one of the ways is by making sure that you have direction. That's your mission. Make sure you have your mission. Number two, make sure that your values and your principles are aligned. Make sure, super important, if you don't do nothing else, make sure that you come up with your values and your principles. Number three, make sure that you start. Start doing whatever that thing is that's on your heart. Just start. All the pieces will fall together for you. The next step will reveal itself to you once you start. You don't know what to do because you haven't started. Once you start, you'll find out what the next step is. Okay, number four, make sure that you figure out your routine. Make sure that you make time for prayer and affirmations. Make sure that you make time for meditation. Make sure that you make time to put some emotion, some energy in motion, okay? Work out, do yoga, Pilates, Whatever your thing is, make sure that you actually do it every single day. If not every day, at least five days, okay? Make sure that you journal your thoughts. Make sure that you're thinking intelligently. Think every single day. Spend time just thinking. And I'm not talking about thinking about random things. Think about whatever it is you need to think about to get to the next level. Like reverse engineer, whatever that thing is. Spend at least 30 minutes thinking about it. If you need help trying to figure out how that process is supposed to look like, again, Check out my workbook. But, but yeah, man, that's it. That's all. I just wanted everybody to have this information so that we can all level up together. I'm Jeff Joseph. I'll holler at you in the next video.